Hey, in neighborhoods around the region, they are still cleaning up tonight. And Queen City News has a team of live reporters, along with Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane, tracking the remnants of today's storms as well as what lies ahead. And we start now with Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger, live in Northeast Charlotte tonight, right off of Rocky River Road. You've been the majority of the afternoon today reporting live for us. Sydney, portions of that road right now blocked off for hours for cleanup. So, what's it looking like right now? Yeah, Alicia, the scene out here, some things look exactly the same as they did six hours ago. Some things look incredibly different. One of the things that look the same are parts of Rocky River Road are still blocked off. These police cars have not budged since the storm hit around 1.30 this afternoon. What looks a lot different, though, are the roads themselves. Crews have been working out here clearing the roads. Beforehand, the road behind me is a little dark. You can't, you can't really see it now, but earlier today, there were so so many trees down, you couldn't even see the road. That is no longer the case. 4,000 people earlier this afternoon were without power in this stretch of Rocky River Road. That number is now down in the 300s, and crews say they're working to restore that power totally by 2 a.m. It just takes one or two minutes to cause damage that requires hours of cleanup. We experienced the rain coming horizontal instead of vertical. We knew at that point in time something was happening. A web of power lines along Rocky River Road, leaving thousands without power. Trees blocking roads and driveways, closing roads for hours. My car is about a mile up the road, and they literally, I thank God, the police allowed me to walk, to, oh, excuse me, to get back down here. I'm 70 years old, never in my life lived through a tornado or any type of this weather. It seems much of the damage was limited to cars, but one neighbor says a large branch left a hole in his home and branches are leaning into his windows. I own a moving company in Charlotte, so I'm going to have my guys out here first thing in the morning and we're going to start cleaning up the place. Neighbors coming together to pick up the pieces and remind themselves about some of the storm's biggest lessons. You can replace property, but not your life. I have seen enough to let me know that I don't want to mess with Mother Nature. Yeah, and earlier this afternoon, we actually saw a private search and rescue contractor out here. We asked him what was going on. He said there were no reported injuries, but there was a woman entrapped in her home. He says some of the beams in her bedroom came down blocking the exit. She was able to be removed from her home. She is not injured, uh, and we're just so thankful to hear that currently there are no reports of injuries in this area. I'm live on Rocky River Road, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. Yeah, a lot to be thankful tonight, Sid, as Mother Nature causing a lot of damage.